Today we'll be looking at another type of photo detector called a photodiode. I intend to provide you with a very basic overview of the photodiode. The photodiode structure is basically a PN junction. So the photons that are incident on the active region, as you can see on the uh, images shown uh, towards the bottom right, um, the photons that are incident on the active region they create electron hole pairs so the electron hole conduction across the depletion layer gives rise to a photocurrent um, the light levels typically range from picowatts to milliwatts uh, giving rise to around picoamps to milliamps current every absorbed photo uh, photon creates an electron hole pair unlike the PMT where the electron to incident photon ratio is much larger um, and an internal uh, electric field causes these electron hole pairs to separate and this is detected as a voltage across the terminals now if there is no bias voltage this uh, mode is known as a uh, photovoltaic mode and uh, it's relatively it has relatively low noise uh, a very good example is a solar cell which is just a an array of uh, photodiodes. Another mode of operation is the photoconductive mode wherein you apply a reverse bias. Typically the reverse bias uh, ratings uh, do not exceed um, 30 volts and this is considered to be more sensitive. The reason is um, <clears throat> the depletion uh, layer is widened due to the internal electric field and uh, thus creating a larger uh, reaction volume. Some of the more uh, common types of photodiodes that you'll encounter are uh, the pin and the avalanche uh, photodiode. The pin <coughs> photodiode is basically um, it has an in intrinsic uh, un or undoped layer between the P and the N whereas in avalanche uh, photodiode and this is avalanche is relatively more expensive than the other photodiodes um, what happens here is the electrons generated knock off more electrons to create uh, secondary electrons and as a result there is a cascading effect or an avalanche again um, this is used when you need high gain but much lower than what you get with a PMT for the other uh, photodiode types, I will steer you to the Hamamatsu uh, technical manual, which has a summary of the types. Now, um, detection efficiencies can be increased by having a SiO2 silicon dioxide layer as an anti-reflection coating. And the materials commonly used are uh, silicon germanium, uh, gallium arsenide, gallium phosphide, to name a few. Silicon is uh, inexpensive and has a low dark current. It, uh, it also gives high speed, good sensitivity, uh, sensitivity roughly ranging between 400 and 1000 nanometers. What we also see on the slide is an equivalent circuit. A photodiode can be modeled by an equivalent circuit which has a constant current source indicated by the current flow IL in the circuit shown on the slide excuse me with an ideal uh, diode across it also shown is a shunt resistor and a junction capacitance now the these values the shunt resistance determines uh, how much uh, dark current is present and uh, this will be more clear when you actually do calculations uh, to find out the minimum light detected by the photodiode. Now um, let's take a look at a typical uh, specification sheet of a photodiode that we have in our uh, lab. It's, uh, it's by it's, uh, it's called um, 10D, uh, it's by United Detector Technologies and um, 
you should be able to uh, judge which photodiode is best for your application for your spectrophotometer by looking and understanding these terms. Some of the terms you need to be familiar with are uh, the, f the responsive responsivity at the at lambda p, which is the peak wavelength. In this case, it's around 970 nanometers. And um, responsivity has the same units as sensitivity. It's just amps per centimeter squared over watts per centimeter squared, squared to give you amps per watts. And um, usually, responsivity curves are uh, normalized to the peak wavelength, uh, which you'll be seeing in this uh, data sheets uh, for the photodiode. Um, the ca capacitance, the is the internal capacitance and this is uh, you need to know this because uh, the response times uh, this dictates the speed of the photodiode the RC time constant the dark current as you already know you're familiar with with, uh, with the calculations done for uh, PMT any P we will be covering in the next class which deals with noise and uh, uh, as I said earlier, the reverse vo voltage uh, rating cannot exceed 30 volts. And the rise time is just how long it takes uh, the photodiode to response, uh, respond. And it's uh, typically calculated from 10% to 90% for a step input. Um, the temperature ranges are detect uh, indicated because um, because uh, changes in temperature can affect the operation of a photodiode. You'll be seeing these in the graphs in the Hamamatsu manual where uh, temperature effects on the dark current and the capacitance are shown. Also, uh, temperature affects the spectral response. Usually, a photodiode is considered more robust than a PMT and is less sensitive, and it's also inexpensive. Uh, the quantum uh, efficiencies uh, approach around 80, as high as 80 percent, um, and these can be the quantum efficiencies and the sensitivity can be calculated following the same uh, approach outlined uh, for the PMT. Now let's take a look at some of the spectral responses. De the spectral response depends on the type of material used. On the first graph, it's silicon, and uh, like I said earlier, it um, you know, the spectral range is between 300 to 1100 nanometers, so it can work uh, as low as UV to uh, almost uh, IR wavelengths. And the in gas, which is widely used in telecommunication, optical communicate high speed optical communication, and it it has it works for uh, typically IR wavelengths or telecom wavelengths. Uh, likewise, you can see gap and uh, lead selenide. I would um, suggest if you would like to have a more in-depth reading on the photodiodes, Wil Wilson Hawks. Uh, the I think the book title is uh, for optoelectronics an introduction. It's a good text for uh, reading more about photodiodes. And also, the Hamamatsu manual will explain pretty much everything about the photodiodes.